Today is four weeks since the criminals came into our home and shot Julian in our bed. I've been left in a situation that's very difficult for me because we have to raise funds in order to keep going, in order to be safe here in the jazz farm. The jazz farm is home to our little family, to Fields of Green for All, to the Dacher couple, and of course, lots of people have been here from all over the world. I need money in order to make sure that we are safe and secure here in the jazz farm in Johannesburg, South Africa. As many people know, South Africa has got one of the highest crime rates in the world. This has left me without my soulmate, my partner, and I need to just carry on. So the Jazz Farm Security is my first priority when it comes to fundraising. Our nonprofit company, Fields of Green for All, has been going for 10 years, ever since we were arrested right here at the Jazz Farm in 2010. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we had to cancel our biggest fundraising event of the year, our annual D-Day 420 party, which everybody looks so forward to. But life is what it is. So we need to carry on and actually finish the work that Julian, myself and our amazing crew started nearly 10 years ago. In order to finish this work, we have a very set number of things that we need to do and you can always consult our website if you need more information. Our main priority is obviously to change the law over everything else but we also need to ensure that under the privacy ruling in the Constitutional Court from 2018 that we have our DACA private clubs written into law and that we preserve these clubs for our communities and they're not invaded by large corporates who want to franchise the idea. We also need to finish our manifesto for full policy reform here in South Africa and try somehow to get our voices out there to be heard so that we can have fields of green for all South Africans. The trial of the plant is not over. It was started in 2017 and I will be going back to court in order to finish what we started. As we know, litigation is very, very expensive, but despite the amazing pro bono support from Schindler's attorneys and our advocates, these things just cost money. And I know in my heart that raising money was the worst job for Jules. He hated having to ask. So now I'm asking for both of us and for my crew. It's very distressing here in South Africa to see how the police treat us citizens. As you know, alcohol and cigarettes have been banned during lockdown, so there's a booming black market. Are we not surprised? <laughs> um, and our, one of our biggest priorities is to stop the cops. It distresses me that in the four weeks since Julian's been taken away from us, my very own crew has been harassed by the police. The arrests are still coming in daily. The ignorance and lack of resources when it comes to the South African police service is something that you will be hearing from me about because it is something that I feel very strongly about. It also takes money in order to get legal opinions and employ legal teams in order to help all of our South African cannabis community who are continually harassed by the police. So that is my three priorities for sitting here today and asking you for your support. Firstly, to beef up the Jazz Farm security to keep myself and my family safe. Secondly, to keep Fields of Green for All going so that we may finish the job that we started nearly 10 years ago. And it's quite ironic that on Tuesday next week, on the 5th of August, it will be 10 years since the South African police broke down our door and invaded our home at 2 o'clock in the morning. And it is further even more ironic that the robbers, the criminals who came into our home, came in at two o'clock in the morning. So let that be a word to the South African police service. You invaded our homes just like the criminals and we are going to get you. Lastly, I'd just like to thank everybody from all over the world 
for the amazing, amazing messages. People have sent music and art and flowers, messages of love. Thank you very much. And I look forward to chatting to you. And my, my team is there to answer any of your questions. Bye-bye.